Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. So, uh, today I am going to use uh, the items that you trade in metals for. And, um, yeah, I mentioned them briefly in my uh, review for version 8.0, uh, the update uh, 8.0. Uh, but this time we'll show uh, how they actually work. And then, I said this when I was talking about the uh, HP ones in particular, uh, but uh, when you are entering a mission where it's kind of a must-win situation, uh, that's when I recommend that the most. Um, and I am playing uh, Kushinada Zero, and I'm uh, very, very close to the uh, max luck, uh, which is why I wanted to uh, win this one, you know, for sure. Um, so I would use these items just to take advantage of every uh, opportunity that I have. Um, so yeah, to talk about uh, the items available. Uh, first, we have the, uh, the two extra treasure chests. Uh, we'll use that so we get more drops at the end. And then there is the uh, plus uh, 10,000 uh, HP. Yeah, that's pretty great. And then there's the, um, it's kind of the uh, cutthroat light. Uh, it's 10% damage to everybody every stage. And then uh, finally there is the additional uh, little heart at the beginning of each stage. And then, uh, yes, Kushinata Zero. Uh, gimmicks here are uh, warps, mines, and blocks. Um, so yeah, there we saw all of the um, items highlighted. And uh, there is another one, which is the 100% um, gauge. Uh, but that one is not uh, available uh, to select for this mission for whatever reason. Uh, but anyway, yes, we can see uh, two uh, little hearts. Uh, they appeared at the uh, beginning of the uh, mission, or the beginning of the stage. One of those was the one that was from the um, metal item. And then uh, we also saw that kind of uh, exploding uh, purple electric thing. That was the 10% uh, off uh, damage. And uh, that's really helpful for uh, Rakshasa especially, uh, because his attack is not quite high enough to one-punch the uh, anti-bounce guys. Uh, but with that, uh, that should be uh, possible for him. All right, so let's see where the uh, little heart appears. Uh, right at the top there. Um, so yeah, that's some nice uh, insurance to have at the beginning of a uh, stage. Um, here I'm going to take a Marishten and I'm going to move him over to the uh, bottom uh, since he is a deity and then the, um, the, what do you call it, the crystal thing at the uh, bottom left, uh, it has deity slayer, so uh, we definitely want to get Marishten out of the uh, blast range there. And then with uh, Rinsu we'll kind of uh, curve around and then take down the crystal thing before it can attack us. And yeah, the item that I used uh, for the plus uh, 10,000 HP, uh, that's, pretty, um, that's pretty useful for this team, uh, since my base is about 80,000, and that's pretty low. Uh, damage output for this mission is not too high, uh, as long as we uh, keep out of the mines, uh, but still, an extra 10,000 HP is a, a big help. Okay, so the uh, little heart generated at the beginning of the stage appears over there on the right. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to grab it since I want to take down the uh, crystal thing. Okay, pretty good. I know that there is uh, some debate about how useful uh, bounce characters are for this mission. And uh, Marishten is sort of a uh, kind of an unconventional choice uh, for this mission. Um, I like him because he does have the uh, double uh, null ability, so he has a lot of freedom of movement. Uh, he also has recovery, which is uh, pretty good, especially considering how low my uh, total HP is. And then uh, there are chances to uh, pinch, um, so he comes in uh, handy there. And then uh, his strike shot charges up uh, pretty quickly as well, um, so that can help me do good damage on the boss. And then uh, damage done to the uh, crystal thing. It's, uh, it seems to be uh, multiplied, and then it's also linked to uh, the boss Kushinata Zero. Um, so if we can get a lot of hits on the crystal, then we can do some very good damage on the boss. Uh, 
Okay, there's the uh, minus 10% uh, on everybody. <laughs> and then uh, with Marishten, since there are so many uh, anti-bounce guys around, um, I have to try to concentrate his attack and his positioning on uh, monsters or uh, the boss, um, where he can uh, hit them normally. Okay, I gotta hit the uh, crystal thing here or else Marishten's gonna take big damage. Alright, very good. And then uh, this team here, this is the uh, the team that I've been using all the time to uh, create the max luck of uh, Kushinado Zero. Uh, the only difference was that um, before I pulled uh, Ruby and the Hatcher, I was using uh, Cherry and Monstriker. And uh, they're very similar, they're both uh, Pierce with a no Warp, uh, with a critical luck skill. Uh, kind of the big difference though is that uh, Ruby has a Minesweeper, while uh, Rose Monstriker has Flight. And ultimately I thought that uh, Minesweeper was better, um, so I could pick up the mines and uh, you know save some damage to my uh, other characters without uh, Flight or Minesweeper. And then also do more damage uh, when she uh, picks up those mines. So both are really good, uh, but uh, Ruby has the uh, advantage overall. Okay, so we're off to the boss. Uh, same idea as the uh, pre-boss stages, basically. Uh, take down the crystal thing as uh, quick as possible, and um, yeah, and then do damage to the boss. Uh, so here, uh, with Marishten, I had a couple options. I could either go after the boss, um, or I can go after the, uh, the two guys at the top. Alright, I definitely want to uh, get rid of the crystal thing, uh, but I saw that uh, Rinsu would have been able to get at it uh, if I had taken down the anti-bounce guy with uh, Rakshasa. So that's how that worked out. Alright, and then boss is already down to half-life. Here I don't really have a good angle to do anything, so I'm just going to go and grab the mines and uh, see what happens down there. Okay, not bad. Alright, so here I have a chance to pinch. We'll do that with uh, Marishten. Okay, pretty good there. And then uh, as for the uh, timing of the uh, strike shots, um, what can I say about that? I feel like uh, most of the damage that you do uh, for this mission is from uh, direct attacks. And so strike shots are not super necessary as long as you uh, get your uh, direct attacks uh, down. Um, kind of the best strike shots uh, for this mission are ones that are uh, speed and power up. Uh, since they just uh, buff up your uh, direct attack. Um, so Ruby and then uh, Rakshasa especially, are, uh, they benefit a lot from that. Okay, one turn in and the boss is already down to uh, half HP, so that's pretty good. And then uh, Rinsu, his uh, strike shot does a whole bunch of damage. Um, but we're not going to actually use it this playthrough, because I always found it that it was more advantageous to, um, you know, move around and get the attack. Uh, because it was either to uh, grab a heart or do damage to other guys. And our HP has been pretty good the entire run, and that's uh, probably helped uh, by the fact that we have the extra heart and then the extra HP. Alright, so here, don't really need uh, Rinsu's strike shot, we'll just do the direct attack and that'll do it.
Actually, that's pretty good damage on the uh, the boss, uh, because the uh, crystal thing also takes that damage and then transfer that to the boss. So I'm just now realizing uh, <laughs> how useful that uh, metal item is here. All right. Of course, I want to take down the uh, the Gaia up there, uh, but he does have the poison, so I think we'll just let him take uh, be taken care of with that. Okay, Odinsu will go over the mine, but I saw a good chance to uh, do some damage to the boss, so we went for that. Okay, pretty good. Alright, we'll try to get some healing in. Maybe uh, clear the stage. No, not quite yet. And then, uh, thinking about the uh, next stage, uh, positioning is a little bit important. Um, I think if we keep um, Marishten away from the uh, center of the stage, that would be good. And then our uh, Pierce uh, characters we want in the uh, opposite corners, upper left and lower right. Um, so this will work. So with uh, Rinsu, we'll take care of the one, and excellent damage on the boss there. <laughs> and then with uh, Ruby here, we'll try to get rid of the other one. Okay, excellent. And Marishten's kind of in a uh, bad place, um, but if he gets his uh, kind of wall-bound attack right, he can actually take down the anti-bounce guy. Alright, I didn't use uh, Rakshasa's strike shot there because I was thinking I could get maybe better positioning later. And then here actually would have been a good chance to use uh, Rinsu's strike shot. Uh, but I saw that my HP was low, so I went and uh, got the heart instead. Okay, but uh, that will set me up for a Ruby Strike Shot here at the end. And that'll do it. Alright, so that was a uh, demonstration of all of the different uh, metal items, and also a uh, look at uh, Kushinado Zero with my main farming team. Alrighty. Oh, uh, we'll hang on a second. Alright, so there's the extra chests there, and uh, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Take care.